Hi. Today we will see an easy and simple way within Comfy to train Laura on images with a unique style so that we can get consistent results for the same style over time, whether it is in creating images or creating animations. The installation and the workflow are very simple, and of course you can find all the links in the description of the video. Enter the manager, click on install custom nodes and look for training and install these two nodes. Another thing we will need is a tool that will help us tag the images automatically. You can use any tool that knows how to see and analyze images. I will use WD14 Tagger. One of the most important things in LoRa training is the data set, or in other words the images, and the tags we choose for them. And you also have to remember that there is a difference between preparing LoRa training materials for a certain figure slash object, and preparing LoRa training materials for a certain style. Our photos should be in a folder which name consists of a number, which is not zero, an underscore, and a name, in our example one underscore memory. I want to create a Laura for this style, which is actually a combination of a central object slash character that is in color, compared to the background that is obtained in black and white, something that feels a bit like an old memory to me. I created these images in workflow, which we have already seen in the previous videos which is intended for exactly this. Of course I will attach a link in the description for those who missed it. So after we have a folder with the images, the first thing we need to do is label the images. As you can see, each image has a text file with words that describe it. So in Comfy, we will simply search for a caption and select LoRa Caption Load and LoRa Caption Save. We will also bring the WD14 tagger and connect everything in the path we need to paste the address of the folder with the images that we prepared. And the last thing is to choose a word that is actually a trigger word for the LoRa that we are creating. In this case I choose the word memory1. And click on Q. And we have finished the part of the captioning. Now every image in our folder has a file with tags that describes the image. You can go through the files and if you see that there is a mistake, or a word that is not related to the image, you can correct it and simply save the file. Now we can go to the LoRa training. We will look for the training node. We have two nodes to choose from, one simpler and one advanced with more possibilities. You are of course welcome to check how each such parameter affects the LoRa. We will move forward with the simpler node. The first thing is to choose based on which model we are making the LoRa. I will use Dream Shaper for this example. In the data path it is very important to note that you choose the folder that contains the folder with the data set that we prepared earlier, and not the folder itself. And again note that the name of the folder starts with a number that is not zero, an underscore, and a name without spaces. The max train epics is the amount of iterations of the training, more is not always worth a better training. We will see what is meant, in our case I will choose 400 train epics. Save every and epics will leave it at 100 and we'll see what that means. I'll put name the name of the LoRa. You can choose whatever you like. Clip skip this is a figure related to the base model we chose, and you can find this figure in Civit AI. I'll put DIR, where the final LoRa file will be saved by default. This is the path to its LoRa folder in Comfy, so there is nothing to change it. That's all. All that remains is to press Q, and wait. The training time depends on the amount of images, their size, the number of epics we have chosen, and of course your computing power. After the training is finished, we can find the model in the LoRa's folder. As you can see, I have three more LoRa's here with the name memory in addition, 100, 200, 300, and this is related to the parameter save every and epics that we chose earlier, every 100 iterations we save a model. Now we will check how our LoRa functions. We will open the most basic workflow available. I work with Dream Shaper as a base, but it will also work with other models. For starters, we will create an image without the LoRa that we will have for comparison. The positive prompt, memory one close-up photo of a doll on a sidewalk. Now add the LoRa and you can immediately see the effect on the image. But the quality is not good in my opinion. Let's try to work another LoRa, one with fewer steps. I choose the 200 epics and you can see that the result is very different from the 400 epics. You can also play with the strength model to give a little more freedom to the base model. And this is the result after we slightly decrease the strength of the LoRa. So I hope you learned and that we will meet in the next lessons. Of course you are welcome to subscribe to the channel.
ask questions and like if you liked. And most importantly, have fun. Bye.